Right now, national night out events are happening across the region. It's a chance for the community to get to know their emergency responders, and it also sends a message to criminals that neighborhoods are organized and they are fighting back on crime. Eyewitness News reporter Jasmine Payute is live in Bristol Borough, where they are doing this for the very first time. Hi, Jasmine. Hi, Jess. That's right here in Bristol Borough. Residents have options. They have face painting, bouncy houses, music, and more. But today, officials tell me this is about more than just having a good time. It's called National Night Out, and like many things, it started right here in our region. It's another one of those silly things. The day is designed to promote police community interactions and is the brainchild of Matt Peskin, who launched this idea in Montgomery County in the 1980s. A lot of the chiefs that went along with this idea thought I was nuts, but the idea worked. People liked being out. They liked waving to their neighbor down the street. His vision quickly spread and blossomed from people sitting on their porch with porch lights on to massive annual community-wide gatherings. Perhaps most importantly is people get to meet with first responders under positive circumstances. It's not a burglary. It's not a traffic citation. It's not a medical emergency. They're out there for fun. Tuesday, Bristol Borough joined people nationwide in commemorating. They held their first national night out under their new police chief, Joe Moores. That's one of my main goals and objective, not only the safety of the citizens of Bristol Borough, but also bridging the, that gap. From Pennsylvania to New Jersey. We think this is going to be one of our biggest ones. Law enforcement officers say they look forward to this day. In Evesham Township, they're celebrating by giving a World Series send-off to the 10-year-old Malton Chiefs baseball team. We're going to just kind of honor these kids for the, the accomplishment that they've made. Uh, and the season that they've had. Festivities that are more than fitting after tough times for residents and first responders. Officials say this is the way they bridge the gap. What could we do better? Uh, what are we doing right? And what can we do to break down barriers? Several communities around the Delaware Valley are hosting events tonight. Officials are urging people to come out. We're live in Bristol Borough. Jasmine Pay, UCBS3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Jasmine, thank you. And